Hey guys, welcome back to Unreal Labs. This is the WASA server cluster assisted installation video. Um, today we're going to be using two Ubuntu machines. Um, we're going to install the indexer on both. We're going to install the WASA server installation on both. And we're going to install just the dashboard piece um, on the master node. So let's jump in. There's some more caveats as we get going um, that I'll talk about, like the network load balancer, how to you know get your agents to register. So we'll talk about that probably in the end of the video. Or if you care, you can jump to the end of the video. Uh, but let's get going. All right, so I've got this Hyper-V machine. I've loaded two uh, Ubuntu, I think, 22.04s. Um, I did take a snapshot or a checkpoint um, for these plane installs. I do have a checkpoint for the after cluster install I did. So, um, you know, if the video screws up, at least I have something to show at the end of it um, that is working. Um, so let's let's jump in. Let's connect to uh, was a and like I, I don't think I've said this before. I do have open SSH installed um, so I can SSH in these boxes and we're not having to use this like really, really tiny screen here. Um, since Hyper-V doesn't really scale well, um, or you got to install third party tools. Uh, just want to make sure I have some internet and I'm going to check the IP here. Let's do an if config. And yeah, I made sure I just want to make sure that they're, they're set up correctly. So let's, let's dive in here. So we need to download a couple things. I'm going to switch over. Let's actually SSH into the uh, master node. This is going to be called was a, uh, was a hyphen one. So let me log in here uh, to this box and then let me uh, go to root here. Get that stuff out. Um, so we're going to copy, um, we need to download um, the WASA installation and the configuration file. Uh, these instructions, like I said before, are on the WASA document, you know, website, if you, if you want to follow along there also, but we need to download both of those. So let's, let's get that done here go there. Let me just grab these real quick. It's easier than me typing. Uh, but I'll, I will link these notes to our, to the Unreal Hyphen Labs website. Um, so if you, you can pull them down there also. Uh, so let's, let's dump these in here. And I do have curl installed. So we've, we've pulled down this config.yaml file and this was an install dot, um, shell script here. So we're going to be using both of those. So we need to edit this config.yaml and we need to replace some names here. So let's uh, just nano this. And let's see what we got here. So this is part of that first video. The first was an installation. You guys have hopefully are a little familiar with this. So we're going to be adding like there, there's node one, node two, right? Was a server one. These are just temp names that, that, that are included here. We're going to change some of these and then like the dashboard. Um, so node one, we're not going to use that. We're going to name it uh, was a one. And you can really name it, you know, whatever you want. So let's back this up here. And that's the IP of the Linux box I'm on currently. So we're going to need node two, and that's going to be just was a two. That's what that Ubuntu machine is. And we're going to drop that IP in there and you want that last bracket out there. So we need to take out these hashes here, get this active. And so we don't have a node three, so we'll, we'll leave that. Let's roll down to the bottom here. So was a one, the naming's fine, but we need to drop our IP in there, 1.34. And then I need to take these out here. So it is going to be the master. And we want one worker, right? What's a two is going to be the worker. So that's 35 on my side anyways. I don't know. You guys can have whatever you want for your scheme. And then I'm going to say was a one is going to be my dashboard. And if I had a third node or third Linux box, I could make that the dashboard if I wanted. Or you can if you want, depending on how big of a cluster you want to make. All right, so let's save that bad boy. Just going to check it. 
real quick. Sometimes I just freak out a little bit. Yeah, all right, we're good. Looks all right. So we've got that YAML file configured. So we need to generate the config files here using this was install.sh uh, script here. So let's run this. So, and I am currently as root. If you don't, then you uh, sudo it. Um, so bash was uh, installation script, right? Was install.sh generate config files. And I got to read these. I don't know all these by heart. Uh, so let's get that done. And so these install files, we're going to need to copy all the, all that, that, this tar here to the other server. So I'm going to just SSH into that real quick, just so I have it up. Drop into root here, pull that out. All right, so if we list that, we should have these was a install files tar. So we need to uh, do one thing here, uh, chmod, just so I can copy it off. Seven forty four um, install files. I just want to make sure that I have access to it. Now I use this mobex term. You guys are probably familiar with me using this. So I'm just going to refresh this real quick, and I'm going to download this was install files.tar need to pull that down onto my local machine i'll put that into downloads here let's see what i got yep there we go and i'm going to drop over to 35 and refresh and i'm going to upload that file there so i need it on both of my boxes so you need to do this on all the boxes that you'd have. I also need to download, there's a step in here already for this, but we need that was an install.sh file um, on all the, you know, nodes that you're gonna use. You don't need the config YAML, uh, because we already did that. So we'll pull that down too. Whoops, I don't have curl on here. So we'll put that on there. So if you don't have curl, that's how you do it. Get that going. So that's, if we list that, that should be available for us on, and this is WESA 2, right? So that's the 35. So let's roll back over to WESA 1 and let's look for our next steps here. So we're going to, uh, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, we need to do the uh, we need to run the install with the hyphen was an indexer. All right, so we'll do that, and we're going to run that same thing actually on the other one too. But we need to do one at a time here. So let's do that. And these, like I said, these notes I have will be I'll, I'll add them in the description of the video so you guys can have them. Um, so let's let's fire that off. I need some coffee. That's what I need. It's coffee time. It's getting to about 3.30 my time here. So this does take a, a little bit depending. So there's only, I only have two CPUs um, and like four gigs of RAM on these machines. They're not monsters. So it, it does take a little bit longer. Come on, come on. All right, so like I, I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is the 4.73 version. Um, so this that's finished up here. Um, so now we need to drop over to our other machine and we need to run this exact same thing over there. Um, and then we'll do some testing just, we got to start the cluster between the two indexers and then 
test to verify that we're we're okay. So let's let's go over to Wasu two, and we'll be doing the same thing. Let's make sure I clear this so it's up at the top here, so you guys can see all that good stuff. And so this is the exact same command. Um, the only difference here is that you need to specify the host name or, or the what the node name that we chose in the config.yaml uh, file. So we'll run that. And then we'll jump into the cluster initialization. And since we're running the assist install, we're not going through and having to do our own certificates and things like that. All that was done uh, in that generate config file. So um, all that's actually already done and inside that tar file there. So the indexer is done on this side. So now we need to, I'm going to clear this. Um, so it's up at the top. So you guys can, a little bit easier for me when I, when I video it here. So uh, let's start the cluster here. Let's copy that command and we'll dump that in. You guys can see that. So we're, we're going to start the cluster and I did move over to was one. So I'm on the, what's going to be my master. Uh, node doesn't matter you can run this on either one but and once you run it you don't have to run it like on you don't have to go to the secondary one and start it this is just a one-time run here All right, so let's test the cluster and make sure everything's good. I need to get the admin files out of that tar file. So here is the command for that. We'll do that real quick. And that's going to just drop out. Um, I'm going to open a notepad here real quick. Yeah, let's just do. I'm just going to copy that in there just so I can have a quick access to it so there is my indexing password we're going to need that to do some testing here so uh, let's grab these commands uh, we want to make sure that we're we're all good and we got to replace that guy there So we need to replace this plus an indexer, right? We need that IP, so 1.34. And then the admin password is going to be what we have up there. I guess I can just copy that and drop it in. It'll be easy enough. And then we'll hit enter. And that looks good. So that's what we're going to want to see. That looks good. Now let's check to see if the nodes are actually functioning together. So copy that command here. I'm going to clear this just to bring that up so you guys can see it. We've got to make some modifications here just because I copied and pasted it from the website. But you could write this yourself and script this if you wanted to. It would be fairly easy. Uh, hey, oops. I don't want all that. All that good stuff. Double command, huh? We'll run that. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. All right, so looks like they're up and up. All right, so the next thing we need to move to is the was a server. Um, and that's actually a pretty easy little install here. So we've got, like I said, we have our configuration files on both sides, that tar file. Uh, so we're going to drop this bash. And I modified it with my node name. So so bash was to install that sh. And then we're going to fire this command. Instead of the was a indexer, it's going to be was a server. And then was a one, right? So we'll fire that guy off. So you want to make sure you're on the right box when you run that.
it's a pretty straightforward installation. There's really not much. I mean, if you were doing some custom stuff or you were going to not use the assisted, then there is quite a bit more to, to do. But I don't see why you would do all that unless you're doing some custom certificates or something. All right, so let's just walk through there. Like I said, it's 4.73 on this one. Um, so it started the manager, started the was a service, started installation of file beat installation, finished through that, started the file beat service, and then finished up. So we need to run the same thing on our was a two installation. So let me clear that. And it's really the same command. The only thing we're doing is just changing the node name to was a two. Uh, so we'll paste that in there and you'll see there was a two for node two. That's our node two going. And then here's your log if you if you really wanted to chew through there, something went wrong. All right there, so it's finishing starting the file beat installation, which doesn't take too long. All right, so that's done. So the last step here is the dashboard. So if we had a third, you know, host or something we'd want to use for the dashboard, we totally could. Uh, I'm just going to stick it on my node on node one. Uh, was a one, uh, not a big deal. You can add this to two if you wanted to and have two dashboards. It's up to you. So on this command here, we're we are. Uh, doing the was a hyphen install dot sh and then we're changing this so was a dash dashboard and then the the node name there so we'll, we'll get this done and then at the end we'll i've got a 20 windows 2022 uh server will throw the was a agent on um and make sure it fires up Actually, we need to sign in the dashboard first. Oh, let me cover this real quick. So there is this, uh, if you didn't want to run this on 443, let's just say, you know, you, you, you know, you wanted to change it. Um, let me pull my notes over here. I just copy this. I just want to show what it would look like if, uh, all over this other host, not that I'm going to do it, but just so you could see it. So if you want to do like 8080 or something, uh, you totally could. So we're, you would add this extension here. So hyphen P, uh, you know, the port and the port number you wanted to use. So you, you could definitely do that. So you don't have to necessarily run it on, um, you know, 443 if you want. Right now, I don't care. It's, it's 443 is fine. All right, so we're we're up and running. So let me open uh Let me open uh Firefox here real quick and uh, we'll browse out to that, huh? Let's see what happens. We should be up and All right, so we should see the website come up, and then I'm just going to copy that password it dropped again, which is the same one it dropped before. I just want to grab it. And I don't care if you guys see it, because it's just a link. Oh, well, looks like it uh, tried to register that before. Let me uh, let's go in there real quick and and wipe that out. Let's let's take that uh, that old one out. Oh, sec. Then clear this real quick. 
it's uh, agents or no, it's manage agents. Sorry. And so we can list every agent. So it's just zero one. So I'm going to just remove uh, zero zero one. Yes, I want to delete it. Wait. All right. So that should take. that out hopefully let's go back to agents here yeah there we go so there's no agents all right great that's what i wanted um, so let's actually let's go to management and then cluster and this will give you like to, just to show at the, the end of the, the clustering side. So we've got two nodes here. Um, was a one was a two, the versions they're running, the IP addresses and then like what type they are. So master and worker. Um, so I mean that that pretty much finishes it up for it was a you know, cluster. Not that hard, but let's let's roll over to um, the Hyper-V instance again. And let's just put that agent on there. Connect. If I can get a screen here, there we go. And I had already downloaded the agent, but so it's in my downloads, but you can get that off the WESA site um, or you can use that the website does list. We go to agents real quick. Instructions, you know, for for what to do and how, like, if you want to name it and uh, to start your agent to start. And you can push this out through GPOs or you know manually installation. So let's go back to Wasa modules and back to running this agent install. Pretty quick. So this is where I was talking about the network load balancer, or maybe I was and maybe, well, let's just get into network load balancing. So since we have two WASA servers and we don't have a network load balancer, you will have to pick what IP you want the agent to register to. Um, if you had a network load balancer in the mix, um, what would happen is like you would hit that network load balancer and then it would cycle through like round robin or however you wanted to set that load balancer up to hit whatever the master server or the, you know, node one or node two, but you'd only need to put the IP, the manager IP would actually be the load balancer. Right now we have to pick, do I want it on the master node or worker one? So like, let's just say you had one was a server in a standalone, maybe you can handle 50 agents. You've added another server. You could put another 50 agents on like the worker one. And then you maybe added three was a servers. You could maybe do another 50 on that one or depending on, you know, resources that you choose, maybe you can only do 25 each one. So that network load balancer comes into, comes in handy, right? Because you don't really have to decide. It's, it's just gonna, that way too, if you shut down, if you're doing maintenance on one of the was servers and you shut that down, uh, when the agent goes to re-register, it's just going to try to re-register with the other, with the other server and, you know, the authentication key would be there all, all good to go. Um, so I'm just going to use the master server real quick. Let me switch back over so you guys can see that. Um, save that. And then it's just a simple restart or start and stop should refresh and pull that authentication key for that, uh, for that agent. So I just wanted to get into like, we could do a network load balancer on this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, depends on what you guys want to see. But I personally, if it was me doing a cluster, I would definitely set up the network load balancer. Um, so I could only have, you know, I'd only have to enter one IP uh, and then it would be redundant, you know, on registering. So let's drop back over to Wuzza and we should see an agent here. Yep, there it is. I mean, that's the one we deleted. So it's zero, zero 002 now. Um, so it's just going to increment numbers on the agent number. Um, and it does take a little bit of time for refresh. Let's we'll do a video on you know setting up some of these vulnerability scanning in the agent. We should go through that good stuff. So there'll be more WASA videos to come. Uh, thanks for hanging around.
Uh, really appreciate it. If you guys have some questions or comments, please leave them down. Uh, like I said, www.unreal-labs.com. I'll, I'll leave the notes um, for you guys if you if you want them. The notes are also really good on the documentation side of wasa.com. So and nothing really that I have in my notes that you wouldn't find there. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, like and subscribe. And we'll check you on the next video.